Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. I didn't really get into, oh, let me put this away here. This is our previous message. Forgot to put those two cards away. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on. I didn't get into looking and asking the cards what we're talking about. I do know I kind of wanted um, like a preview of October energy. So I'm just going to pull that. Let's see what happens. See money. See choices. Here we go. Wow. So uh, interesting, right? Because I was seeing the two of pentacles and some other pentacle energy there. Um, but what I am getting here is someone is going to make a choice after probably a battle within is what I'm getting. What is this card here? That's that two of pentacles. Um, maybe even an ar argument about it. Maybe just an argument with their light and dark side. But someone has made a choice because we do, after a struggle, have an ace of pentacles. Wow. So October is bringing a um, decision, a final decision or a, a decision, a solid decision. And it may have to do with someone coming in. Um, so we have this Knight of Wands energy coming to the two of the wands here, um, the two of the wands. But look at how it looks like this is total imagery message for us. OK, this night is coming in. The woman doesn't know it. This person has made a choice after battling with their ego. Oh, and maybe their spirit, whatever it is, they have the divine guidance. No, you got to release yourself. Go make this offer to this feminine energy. Um, go take that action. Ace of Wands. So the upcoming energy for October, very interesting. It looks like, you know, for some, the battle is over. The decision has been made. Look at that. Ten of Swords. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. The battle is over. It's almost as though even for some, this person just kind of surrendered to all of the backlash they were getting and things just started to flow naturally is almost what I get. What type of things flowed naturally? I'm not a thousand percent sure, but we do have this wish came in, wish card, and also we have the magician here. So you know what happens when you want something and you kind of let it go and just stop fighting about it? It just can happen naturally. And it looks like, yeah, possibly with the Wheel of Fortune and this Ten of Swords, like this person just was like, I can't do anything else about this situation. Um, it's going to be up to divine, the divine, right? And you may be dealing with an air sign or just someone who just like couldn't take any more thoughts about it or anything. They're just like, I'm, I surrender. Um you know, what happens, happens, what's meant to be will be. And it looks like it's actually coming in like it's meant to be. Let's see what's crossing over this wish. We have the Ten of Cups. So look how there's no one here, right? Um, very interesting energy. This wish has to do with the fulfillment of love. Uh, possibly a love situation you thought may be over, but the roots run deep there. And there was some sort of sadness here as well, right? Uh, but sometimes I'm going to say, I don't know, I don't think this is a saying, but the wish sometimes comes after the storm. I don't know. It's not, it's my own saying, I guess. <laughs> wow. And we have the King of Wands. So a lot of fire action energy here. Um, this is about this person taking that leap, uh, taking that jump and coming in. Now tell us a little more about this upper level. So we have this person, this wand energy, this fire energy literally coming in. Okay. Um, tell us a little more about the backstory there or whatever we need to know. The Ace of Cups, a lot of love, but you know what I get here is like, this has been waiting. This has been brewing. This has been building because the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups both have no one there. It's kind of like still water runs deep type of energy, a lot going on behind the scenes. Look at the card that is at the bottom. How beautiful is that and so sorry guys why am i this is so bizarre i'm not sure exactly i knew this was the moon card i don't know why i was calling it the star card for some reason but we do have this wish here um let me just go back to that so really something happened energetically here in this situation and it seriously could involve like the astro astrological planets, the moon energy that's just happened. Maybe this person surrendered and during the moon, things just naturally took course. I don't know why I was calling it the star card. I knew it was the moon card, but it has a vibe of star energy to it. So let's just go back now to seeing this message here. 
So with the moon, look at that. And like I said, you know, still waters run deep in the dark at the, in the night, like things have been happening below the surface, clearing up the sadness in the situation or healing with the rainbow energy there. Um, so this person is coming in a lot of love, but I feel like it hasn't been expressed. Uh, maybe not for a while because look, we have two layers of water here. Like it's just overflowed and overflowed and collected to the point where it's kind of going to spill. And this person is literally, you know, coming in to honor their wish or to go for their wish or to go for um, what's been made. The path has been set clear for them to go for now. Very interesting. So let's get some more on that. Tell us more about this wand coming in. Gosh, wow. Tower. Not joking. And you know what's so funny? Interestingly enough, at the bottom, I used to call this guy the king of wands. These cards kind of confuse me at times. I guess I guess I get lost in the beautiful imagery. Um, but it's the king of pentacles. But it's like, bam, an offer that you just almost in the, the knight of cups here, like coming back. You have this person coming back to you. And... I almost get like it's an offer you can't refuse the lovers under that. Wow. So, wow. And you know what? When someone makes a mistake, like confusing a card for a card, there's a reason for that. So don't, um, you know, don't throw off the reading because like don't throw it away because of that or anything like that. I don't know why I'm explaining, but I'm sure a lot of you understand um, I don't know what the saying is for it, but when you confuse something with another, you know, word or whatever, usually that word has meaning to the situation as well, or that whatever that description is that you confused it for. So in this time, possibly because of the moon energy that just passed, it looks like this person had to surrender. Um, and in the surrender, the action happened and it was behind the scenes with the moon. It was clearing things up with the 10 of, um, cups energy here and you know the still waters running deep there was no movement here there was no movement maybe for 10 months for some of you there was no movement but there was peace with the rainbow there and now this person is ready to make that offer right we have this cup energy here from the person that's coming in and it's a big cup okay it's a big Cup. We even have an ace of pentacles here. Um, this is going to be unexpected with the tower. Totally unexpected. You're going to, for some of you, you're going to be like, oh my God, like even if I really wanted it, I did not believe it type of thing. Um, and it's going to be such a solid offer and it has to do with love. You know what I like here? I'm seeing the seven of swords and guess what? <laughs> This person isn't leaving any swords behind. They've come to some clarity. They faced their truths. They faced things they didn't want to really face. Maybe they were harsh realities that this person had to face, okay, because they're sword energy. But this person isn't leaving anything behind. This person isn't looking back. This person has cleared up whatever this is, and they are dealing with it or have already put the work in to clear it and get rid of it, okay, because we do have the Eight of Pentacles there. So anything more we need to know about October? What about you? Let's see about you for a second. Because here you are, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, but you're watching this. I don't think that that would affect you from having no idea. But seriously, oh my gosh, you have no idea. I don't know if I should show that. You guys saw it, right? I don't think I can like just leave it. Well, she is naked. I mean, she is covered. She has covered herself. Um, But what I get here, like, you probably have made peace with being alone right now. Um. You're just like, I'll deal with this. I'm not going to say everything I'm saying. I'm feeling here. Um, yeah, some of you have made peace with this for now. You're not happy. No one wants to be in their bed alone, right? Usually, um, not when you have a love interest. But you've made peace and you've kind of accepted that this emperor energy is super stubborn. They're not coming back. They've disappeared. This is the emperor and... The Hierophant energy is just such a, an interesting reading. So my smile is huge. Um, yeah, you just, you made peace with the fact you think this person isn't coming back. But okay, interesting. Let's see this. So we have the Nine of Wands. But guess what? Like behind the scenes, this person hasn't let you go. I actually feel like this person discussed this maybe with a friend, um, maybe a female friend. And maybe that is the reason why, you know, they've made this decision to come in. I'm seeing the nine of cup or nine of 
make sure. Yep, the Nine of Cups energy there to go for that wish. So what do we see as an outcome here? Let's go to your outcome. For you specifically, you have the world. Look at my favorite card in the deck because I love Paris. I miss Paris. And yeah. Um, so anyhow, thank you for, I don't know why I'm going on here. Thank you for everyone that joined me in Paris with the locks on the bridge. Loves of locks. Thank you so much. Locks of love. Okay. So anyhow. Sorry about the sirens, guys. Um, what's happening for you is a whole new beginning, a whole new world. And hearing that song, we have the wish card back up here. Um, you're getting your wish. It's coming in towards you. For some of you, you have become quite successful. Um, you've taken the action to follow other dreams and release this. And therefore, you have more dreams coming towards you like that you didn't even know or that you put on the back burner is what I'm going to say. I'm seeing the six of cups there. Um, but point being... For you specifically, this is, uh, for you, an opportunity of options, an opportunity to, to decide what you want to do. Um, for you, you have the choice. Do you want to have a brand new beginning or do you want to have this new beginning in love? The Paris Tower, the Eiffel Tower is representation of love right? And never ending love. So for you, you have the world card. So what is the outcome for this person? So you really have a good outcome no matter what. For this person, why does it want to, I feel like it wants to, that's the, no, it's the option stuff, but I didn't see actually what the card was. So for your person, what is the outcome for them? What is the outcome for your person who's coming in October? Um, whoa, this is definitely going to be something. Hmm. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Now this is big. This person is coming in strong. Oh my gosh, the Empress and the Judgment. There is going to be a brand new beginning here in this connection. You are going to hold the key to this, whatever that means. And I will actually clarify that if I remember, because sometimes I forget. Um, your person's energy will be very fulfilled, very, I'm getting companionship. Okay. So there's like almost an energy of this person can finally spend time with you um, or put an effort here and look at, it is a number 10. So for October, you and this person may actually do something um, that's not like crazy or anything because there's two people on a horse, but your person may take you for a horseback ride. They may take you to do something different, calming, fulfilling, um, that's going to actually put an investment into this relationship with you. And I see you taking a good look at this with the judgment card um, and accepting this offer. What is this key that you hold or what is that key about? The key. I'm getting an energy from a key here. Okay, so this card wants to look like come in reverse. Um, so it is the page of wands. Oh, wow. So you hold the key here to whether or not, and it's about all about how you go about this and what you put into this uh, very strong ace of swords energy with the death card. It's almost about, sorry, what's going on? <laughs> they want to escape. Um, the key that you hold has to do with self-love, with healed, like being healed, um, coming across with the Queen of Cups energy and the Ace of Swords, it's about honoring what you truly want in this connection and honoring yourself and not being afraid to cut self free or to end this situation, not um, caring if it looks a certain way. Like, you know what I mean? If you don't get exactly what you want, you don't care. You're going to go. You want Four of Wands energy. You want to spend time with this person. Um, there's just something here. I really want to clarify the ace of swords. And what I also get is almost like you've rebirthed. There's something about letting go of the old you because you healed as well. Um, there is a true love vibe coming up here. Okay. Now look at this. We have the choice, right? So this is what I'm seeing in the hangman. Your person has made a choice and the choice by the looks of it, is going to be to come into you to offer you love, right? Now, here we have this King of Cups and the Four of Cups. 
And there's something here. And so we have a king and a queen of cups here, right? October is going to be blooming a blooming month, okay, for this connection. Um, but there's something here, like I said, if this person doesn't come in right, there's something here. You're not worried about cutting it off. You're in a very healthy spot. Um, you want them to appreciate you for everything, the goods and the bads, okay? That's what I'm getting with this four of cups. Because I think you're dealing with someone that just likes it when everything is smooth, sailing, and good. But you've come to an understanding. Um, you've healed from whatever happened here. Maybe I'll pull one card there. You do want this to work. But it's kind of more on your terms, which I would expect because you've grown as a collective. Um, what did this person do in the past that wasn't too good? That's what I want to know here. So we have the star card coming out. Could it be they followed another wish or a false wish? Um, what did this person do? The Eight of Cups. So this person went for another wish. This person left, maybe ghosted. But like even in the star, when I look at it now, I don't feel like they're happy. See those two, um, there's two jugs beside this person. It's like, I don't know, something here that they carried with them and it didn't work out. It's almost like they thought something would work out elsewhere. So they went and invested there. Oh, here's that energy. Yeah, interesting. Um, they invested there, but I think what the clarity was is that it wasn't what they thought it would be because the star or the sun card here, I want to show you, I just saw it. It's actually quite dark. Um, it's very interesting. It's a dark sun card so whatever they thought was going to be you know the way they thought it was going to be it wasn't and that moon energy is here very relevant maybe there had to be an ending as well with whatever that other situation is what else did this person do that wasn't cool that you know hurt you that caused separation so we have the look at that the knight of cups in reverse and the devil Um, I get a lot of messages with this, but maybe what this person was offering was quite empty, was quite, um, why do I want to say dissolute? I don't really know if that works. Distance, maybe. I don't know. Dis like not really fully giving themselves. And on top of it, what I get is this person may have had a player attitude in the back in the days. Um, with all that fiery energy, right? And, you know, part of the thing you want and have the power to do is to make this person stay. You got the page of wands in reverse. Like, you can make this person stay by honoring yourself and not being afraid to get what you want is the message here for October. And for some of you, I feel like this person actually did leave a connection technically. So they were kind of single and they still weren't offering you love. And that's probably because, you know, from the other readings that this person was going through heartache and stuff like that. Um, why did this person do this energy? Why was that here, you know? And the Queen of Pentacles energy. So it could be because they were dealing uh, with a marriage situation, a mother situation, um, another situation. Okay. And it could also be because you were a very strong force and they weren't sure if they were able to handle you. Uh, tell us a little more about that. Let's see what's going on. It came in reverse. Yeah, so there is some something here that this person, a third party situation by the looks of it, someone that they were providing for um, and maybe even like taking care of in one way or another. Um, to tell us more about that, this person really had to do that clearing of the lies, right? They had to come clean. They had to realize that what they were hanging on to was almost like these images on the wall. You see how there's some bow and arrows or bow ties on the wall. Um, they were hanging on to an image and they had to let that go. They had to come clear. This person had to do some self work and it's all in regards. And look, we have the eight of pentacles. Like this person had to do some work in order to come for this new beginning. And that's why it's taken so long for them to come back. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken so long. And the reason is they were doing the work, leaving the other connection, having the new beginning, breaking free, um, healing, closing that past up, closing the door. See how it looks a little shady energy a bit? Like the person, they had to really heal. They really had to get out of their anger, get out of their lies, face certain things, certain truths. Maybe what part they had in this other situation failing, right? But they had to do all that in order to have a brand new beginning. Death card 
and the Fool card and the Three of Cups in order to come together here. So beautiful energy. This is um, what we can, it's kind of just a, a precursor to October energy, what will be coming in. I do want to pull one love card here. Whoa, that came out so quickly. I want to make sure I shuffle. Okay, for the collective, what is the one message that they could use right now um, for October and what will be coming their way with this situation? So we're only to, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I Whenever this comes, it came out yesterday in the Patreon reading, which is rare um, in general. It doesn't come out. Okay. So um, this is your twin flame. This is your, I mean, I don't, yeah, they do probably have a soulmate card in here as well. Um, this person is heading back to you and you need to really let it go and just allow time to, to play out, to bring this in. Um, it's asking you to surrender. That's why I'm saying that at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives and let go and it will all work out. And this I feel is you here. Like you're just like, whatever, I'm done with it. I'm hanging out with myself. I mean, we already have this card, right? Hanging out with myself, doing me and, you know, playing with nature and just like enjoying what clarity I do have. Cause notice her umbrellas are down and folded in. Let it rain on me. Let it sun on me. I'm going to enjoy the whole thing. To me, it kind of looks like she's in a, a, like a pajamas or something like, I don't know, maybe that's how they dress. I just feel it's a little, there's something missing there. So maybe you're just like letting things out, doing things differently, um, you know, going against the norms. But this is an explosive love energy with the lovers coming in, um, the serious offer coming in in October. Um, you have the soul connection the twin flame connection card coming out here and the surrender so just surrender right now i feel like that's exactly what you're doing and that's exactly probably why you would totally not expect it i cut the deck at the four of wands like it's gonna come through it's just gonna be um very unexpected is what i get okay very happy to maybe you'll, i don't know if you'll bump in i don't know if i can get the house let me just cut it you might bump into this person i mean the three of pentacles could be with other people there uh at a function let me cut it one more spot and the two of pentacles so maybe um <laughs> interesting and we also have the justice here so maybe the way that this may happen is someone speaks to your person like hey she's here or he's here like go talk to them or <laughs> Sorry, even if they were to bump into someone in a crowd or something, that person and them might start talking and they may, that may be how they come to the realization that they cannot hold back any longer, that they need to make a decision and come in. That person may somehow trigger something in them that says, you know what, you're right. I do got to go for the love of my life or I do got to go. I got to go in there. It's been too long or something like that, right? So I hope that this answers some questions for you as to what's coming in October. Super excited. But we will do a full October reading. I don't know if I'll go back and review this, but I think I should be able to remember it because it's pretty beautiful and heavy and direct. Bye for now. If you want to join my Patreon, I really appreciate you supporting me on that channel. And yeah, the messages there are very unique and there's only about 100 people. So only join if you're guided to. Either way, I hope that this message resonates. Bye for now.